are your fast setup tips and techniques on defense? Good question. Great Sorry. question. So yeah. once again, what are your fast setup tips and techniques on defense? So this is a good question. Earlier in the show, we talked about quarterback spy and how important it was. So I'll explain one thing I do. Mm -hmm. 20, 20. So at the start of the play, if you're going to base a line, you always want to do that first. Yep. That should be the first thing you do as far as like a checklist goes. But if I'm going to use her Davis, I want to stay on Davis. I don't want to have to click to this guy, Copels, to put him in a quarterback spy because if you snap the ball, then I'm stuck on Copels and I'd rather be on Davis. So what I'm going to do is push RB, RB, X, flick left on the right stick. That puts him in a quarterback spy. And that sounds confusing. That sounds like four steps. The new players are like, what did he just say? <laughs> but with the new quick adjustments, you can actually do that without without moving on to the guy. And I call this play all the time. Mm -hmm. So I get into a rhythm. So rhythm. I say, Very important. I say base align, press, QB contain. Slide. How many times and have I, just, I yelled at you over the years about getting reps in? It's Practice. just about getting into a rhythm of your button presses. It's like a, it's like a Street Fighter combo before the play. Fact. Every time I'm like up, up, down, down, left, heavy, left, uh, <sighs> B, A, B, A, start. So I know what I'm going to do before the snap, and it causes me to get into a rhythm, repetition. What's your kind of pre-snap checklist? Maybe we'll show a zone play. Here. Yeah, so if you go, if you go out, um, we'll switch the side of the controller. So where I always came from when it, when it you know, came from pre-snap adjustments was – I need to make all the adjustments that I can make. Like while the you know you come out, you pick your play, and the screen comes out. But like you can't like click individually click the guys because like the screen's coming out. Like there's like a little delay, like two around. like two seconds maybe two three seconds worth of time where you like you don't actually have control to click onto a guy. Like the defensive linemen are still getting set, linebackers are getting set, so you can't move them around. So I always had the idea. And this was something that was taught to me way long, way long ago. Uh, you guys like VG Burt, throwback, right? The idea was get all your adjustments in that don't require movement. Basically, your eyes closed. Yeah, right. So those adjustments that you can do that don't require like to click onto an individual guy. So for example, with this blitz here, this blitz requires me to move this blitzing linebacker out in the slot to get more depths. So I can't move him when I'm coming right out of the huddle because like. He's still moving. He's getting into position. He's in a pile of guys. So it would be then silly for me as a defender to say, I'm going to waste two seconds, two valuable seconds, and wait for him, and then move him, and then go. The better thing is to never waste any time with any of your adjustments. So what you then do in that instance is, okay, what can I do? Well, I can do a baseline, which puts my defense in the same position before the snap of every ball. And, right? and they can do it from anywhere. You, you can do, do it from it anywhere. From any camera angle. The next thing I can do is I can I can, I can can spread my defensive line. That's another thing I can do. They'll, they'll do it without me having to manually move anybody. I can do defensive line crashes. I can blitz linebackers. Uh, so these are all things that I do before the snap of the ball. And then what you'll see me do, the last things I do is I start to mainly move guys around, right? And then the last thing that I'll add is when you're setting up a blitz, right? You need to make sure that you set the blitz up so that the pressure is gonna come in no matter what. And then you can get to the next level adjustments that are going to help better your coverage. So what I mean by that is the following, right? So Farles, let's say, I'm gonna reset this play. I'm gonna go back to that old school picture. I'm gonna reset this play. And I'm going to get the base of this play in, right? So the base of this pressure looks like this, okay? So you see the ball? See yes. the pressure? Snap the ball. So I should get pressure off this left edge. Here comes the pressure. Fire flames, right? Okay. So if I were to tell a beginner player, you set that pressure up first. Um, so say you get that up and now you still have time. Well, you can make this play better. If you now drop the defensive lineman, which you can do with quick adjustments, yes. LB, LB, A, QB, spy, LB, LB, B, flat zone. Now I dropped extra defenders, but I can't worry about that unless I get this defender slid out. Like I can't go and make those adjustments and still have this guy over here yes. because it's not going to come in unless I get him out. So I have to make sure I get him out first before I make all those secondary adjustments that make the play better. Very, very important from Gibbs right there. First of all, make sure that the first things you do on the play are things like baseline, things like crash your line or shift your line, crash your line, so that um, you don't need the camera to see it. Secondarily, if you're going to set up a blitz, make sure the blitz gets set up so that it will come in 
first. Yep. Then once it's actually set up so that it will come in, if you can tinker, if you can tinker, move guys, get guys off of their blitz assignment, but it will still come in. That's secondary. That's a secondary role. It's to a that nice list. to have. It's a nice to have, it's, not a must have. Correct. That's those are the steps you want to take after. If you put that guy in a quarterback spy, but don't fling that guy out left. Right. So say I do this. It doesn't this. matter that that guy's on a spy. It doesn't matter. So I spied him. Now call the play. Like, okay, good job. Doesn't matter. Pressure didn't get in. So what's the point at, the, at that level now? Right? Correct. There's no point. You'd yeah. rather rush that guy than have him on a spy. You know you're going to get him clean right. and then go from there. Uh, and I, I would say ultimately, if there's going to be one tip that we could give you, and this is going to be, you know, this is the one tip that's going to help you improve to, to become a better player. When you use base align, what is so important about baseline is is you hit the coverage audible, so that's Y on your controller, and then hit the right st uh, the right D pad to the right. What's so important about this is that you give your opponent the same look before the snap of the ball every single time. And what's important about that is say you know I set this play up here, but I could bring pressure off this right edge if I always move this linebacker over here, but I drop him into coverage every now and then, right? Right. So when you give them the same look pre snap, that's when you start getting to the next level of becoming a better player. Is Confusing your opponent is pressure coming? Is it cover two? Is it cover three? Is it cover four? Now, when you watch us play games, you can all usually see us call out like, "I think this is cover four. Looks like he's in two man." That's what happens when you get to the next level when you're playing the game the right way. Is you start to call those defenses, but when you play a really good opponent, they take that all away from you because they make everything look exactly the same. Indeed. So that's big to getting your setups in. Guys, if you could do us a favor real quick and just hit the follow button in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, we'd love to have you stop by our weekly show This Week in Madden every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. Once again, our 167th episode. We also go live on Sundays. If you're a fantasy football fan or if you like to watch the games on Sunday, we have Red Zone Channel. We have the chat hacking it up. We talk fantasy. We talk FanDuel. We talk food we talk a little bit of everything food. we watch the games all day long while playing madden so 